then. So we're at question three, challenge three. This is all about the human race. You're in the human race. The race against time. It's your race against time. So this is a real good uh, little, little uh, eye opener for you, which really for me is a motivator to help you get the most out of your one life, one chance. Because it's very, very clear. There is no second chances. There is, this ain't no practice run. You've heard all the old sayings. We have one life, one chance, you go to squeeze the shit out of it and love life as much as you possibly can each and every day. Have that unlimited life. So in the human race, we're here, we're when we're born. We're born year one and the life expectancy is average of 83 years. So this, this chart you'll see below, a bunch of love hearts down below, you'll see those hearts representing, each heart represents one year of your life. So if I go ahead and, uh, and do it myself. I'm 52 years old in my prime. I'm here at 52 years old. So for yourselves, you just mouse over below those hearts and you'll to whatever age you are and that'll come up and you can mark that age of you are now. And then the actual chart will, will automatically calculate how many years you have left. So for me, uh, if I'm 52 years old, and my average average life expectancy is 83, I have 31 years left to live the life that I want, do the things I want, achieve the things I want, and get all those things on my bucket list, live my life to the fullest, okay? It's a pretty scary thought when that's all I have left. I've already lived a great 51 years of my life, 52 years, sorry, of my life, and I, I intend on keeping squares and the rest of it. But what is your story? What age are you now? How many years do you have left? Okay, you might live longer because you might have really good genes. My grandmother just died, unfortunately, and she lived to 98. I hope I've got her genes and I can live to at least 98 myself. But this is just the light average life expectancy because you never know, do you? We never know when our time is up. There's so many, so many people dying every day of different things, of diseases and accidents, and or even just things that happen in your life that really can, will, live, will very much limit your life if, it, uh, if things go wrong. So we do need to be squeezed in life. We do need to be, do not take life for granted. And this is a great eye opener to know where you are now, how much time you have left, and, uh, and what are you gonna do with it. And the next little part of this is, you'll see underneath there, just two, a simple question is, where would you like to have financial freedom? Where would you like financial security, financial independence, to be able to just stop work whenever you want to? You might want to start a business and just have a life you like, and live your life through that. And, and actually loving life every day like I do, or and like many other people do, or you might just want to stop work and travel the world, travel Australia, travel whatever country you're living in, and get the most out of it. But if you write down that age, and then how many years have you got to achieve that? Because that's important, because when it comes to building wealth, it's really about uh, you know buy, having good cash flow and buying assets, and getting the power of compound capital growth across your different assets so you can uh, yeah, you can stop work sooner and time does need to work for you uh, it's a very powerful thing Einstein said uh, capital growth was the what well, should be the eighth wonder of the world so you know that's as good a good again a good opener to know you know here you are now for me I'm as I, I mentioned earlier in uh, in the first uh, in the second uh, in the last quiz uh, I'm 52 now and I mentioned I want to start working on 55 so I've got 55 is the answer to part two of this, and I've got only three years left to achieve that. Again, I probably never stop work, so I love what I do, but you know, I can have financial freedom to be able to just have that peace of mind, no stress, that I have money there, I give my family the life they want, and uh, and again, uh, enjoy the most out of what I have left in my life. So, do the exercise, the great eye opener, and uh, we'll see you in the next question. Thank you.